Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's RC, and welcome back to episode two of Match of the Day, presented by Man and Blazer. That's me. This week, we're going to go over the end of month awards for Manager of the Month, Goal of the Month, and Player of the Month in the Premier League for the month of September. We'll take a look at the table and we'll take a peek down at a couple of other leagues. Hope you guys are ready. So let's buckle in and get to it. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to Match of the Day presented by Man and Blazer. This is episode two. Just a reminder, if you like what you see, if you like what I'm doing, please support the channel by hitting that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for daily football manager content here on the channel. Let's get into this week's or this month's action. We're taking a look at the September wrap up this episode. Here is the table. Chelsea leading the way nine points from three matches, a perfect three for three, 12 points as so a scoring four points per match on average. They've also tacked in a couple of Carabao Cup wins and they have looked to be a dominant side thus far this season. Man United and Wolves with seven points. Fulham currently with the advantage for Champions League in fourth position. Burnley, Man City, and Leicester rounding out the top seven looking for Europa League or Euro Cup next year. Arsenal on the outside looking in. Newcomer Leeds currently mid-table in 11th with four from three. And Liverpool struggling along two points from two but they do have a crucial game in hand. Tottenham as well in the same situation. Both of those sides desperately needing to find some victories and to start pulling three points. Everton, Crystal Palace, and Sheffield United, early leaders in the relegation battle with West Ham and Aston Villa right there with them. Naturally, Chelsea with the strength of their start. Thomas Tuchel has won Premier Manager of the Month and dominated the voting. He has done extremely well since coming over from PSG in his first season at the helm of the Blues since the firing of Frank Lampard, which didn't disappoint me any at all, personally. <laughs> Little bit of news coming out of the Premier League. Man United and Fulham, there have been whispers of possible consortium takeovers that are whispered on the lips around the league. Both club presidents have squashed those rumors, saying they are utter rubbish and neither team is in danger of being sold. However, this reporter believes where there is smoke, there is possibly fire as well. So keep an eye for any takeover talks continuing to be whispered about these two clubs. Going down, we mentioned Arsenal struggling here in the early going. They did lose on penalties to Liverpool in the Community Shield, but they have a draw and a win, so not playing horribly. They've also won their first two rounds in the Carabao Cup. They've looked mostly dominant uh, doing so. pierre Emerick Aubameyang with goals in all three of their last matches, and Lacazette finding the tying goal against Man United. What's interesting about Arsenal, jumping over to their squad view, we see a breakout of injuries for their squad, and many of these are coming at the right back position. Cedric, Hector Bellerin, and Callum Chambers, all sidelined with injuries. The most crucial of those, Martinelli with damaged knee cartilage will miss four months. Bellerin will be out four weeks with a groin strain that he suffered just a few days ago in the 2-1 win by Arsenal over Everton. And then Callum Chambers uh, will be back in training in about a week. Now, with those three right-back sideline, that does leave the cupboard a little bare for Arsenal skipper Mikel Arteta. And that player that they are looking at is Kieran Tierney. Now, Tierney, of course, 23 years old, very well regarded, and he can certainly slot over to the right back from his traditional left back side. However, 
if Tierney has to play left side or if he finds an injury here in the next week or so. The club is left with just four other options that could slide into the first team, and none of those four players have yet made their club debut and have no appearances in the Premier League. That could spell trouble for the Arsenal defense. Keep an eye on that development for the Gunners. In international news, the Three Lions head coach Gareth Southgate was recently spotted at Old Trafford keeping an eye on no less than six Red Devil players for his team for the upcoming season. They open up Group 2 action in the International League at Wembley against Belgium later this season. We mentioned Tottenham currently struggling. Their struggles may just be beginning. Rumor has come out that Sonny, Sun Hyung Min, is the rumor of a transfer bid by Real Madrid. Rumor has it that Real Madrid are looking to offer $173 million for the Tottenham Hotspur winger. Would Jose Mourinho pull the trigger on such a deal? And would the Spur faithful tolerate such a move? We'll have to wait and see. We turn our picture now to the goal of the month in the Premier League, and we travel to Manchester City for that. In the last match against Brighton at home, Raheem Sterling scored two goals in this match, and it was his first goal that won the nomination for Premier League Goal of the Month. Let's roll that highlight. Sterling picks up the ball in his own half, beats White to the outside, and just inside the box, beats Sanchez with a powerful shot. Definitely a memorable strike and worthy of Goal of the Month nominations. And even though Sterling had the Goal of the Month, we travel back to Chelsea and we take a look at right winger Hakeem Zayich. And he he was the Premier League Player of the Month with four goals from three matches. And we will take a look at both of his goals coming in the 6-0 victory over West Brom. Just two minutes into the second half, Zayich with the set piece beats the wall with a deftly placed kick. And that was his first goal. And then late in the game, 87th minute from the opposite side, and he bends another one over the wall, beating the keeper and giving him two goals in the 6-0 victory. And again, four goals from three league matches gets him named Premier League Player of the Month. Being that we're coming back with an episode so quickly with end of the month, and I did tell you guys this would be a development in progress as I kind of learn what I want to cover, how I want to cover it. Looking for feedback from you guys. Please leave some comments below if you have any suggestions. But um, So we didn't have any more matches because last episode we'd already gotten to this point, but I had not done the end of month wrap up. So I kind of like that idea. I've been thinking about it and that's what we're going to go with. And then, so what we'll do is probably do once a month, I'll I'll play out one month of games. We'll do a highlight review such as we did in this episode, manager of the month, player of the month, goal of the month. We'll take a look at the tables and then we'll look at some highlights from various matches during the course of the month. So look for that next episode. But uh, other than that, let's go ahead and wrap this one. If you like what I'm doing here, please hit that like button. Supports the channel, gets more eyes on the video. And remember, subscribe for daily football manager content here on the channel. I do thank you guys so much. Have a great day. And thank you for watching Match of the Day, presented by RC, the man in blazer. Have a good one. Bye.